Okay, so now we have seen the entire procedure. At this point, we uh, we, we can apply resolution in first order logic, and let's let's see a, a couple of examples. In the first example, we have a very classical example: all men are mortal. Socrates is a man; hence, Socrates is mortal. This is our argument. Now, first of all, we have to express this in first order logic, and what this says is for all x, men of x. That means if, if X is a man, let's say, then this implies X is mortal. Essentially, this represents the first premise. Okay? And the second one says Socrates is a man. Therefore, man Socrates. Okay? You see, X is a variable here, and Socrates is a value in my domain, which is uh, essentially the set of people, let's say. And the conclusion here is Socrates is mortal mortal Socrates, okay? And we would like to show that this argument is valid. So first of all, I'm going to put this in, in pre-next normal form and then the closed form, okay? So, uh, and also I'm going to add the negation of the conclusion as a premise. If you remember, we, we, we did the same thing with propositional logic. So I'm going to add the negation of mortal Socrates into the set of premises and then, uh, of course, you see, I have uh, also eliminated the quantifiers here because, well, you can just write this as for all x, not man x, or for all x, uh, not man x, or mortal x. Okay. And then, since there are no existential quantifiers here, I'm just going to drop the uh, universal quantifier from this. Okay. And this one is already uh, a literal, and this negated is already also a literal. So apply resolution principle here. Uh, this and this, you see, this is negation of man X, and this is man Socrates. They are not identical, but we can unify them using the substitution X into Socrates. If you put Socrates into X, these become the complement of each other. So these are, uh, we, we can uh, resolve these two. And what we are left with is just mortal, not X, because we have now substituted X for Socrates. So this one becomes mortal Socrates, okay? Be careful with this step. You are unifying these two using this substitution. So this is important. You have to be uh, aware of what substitution you are applying and do not forget to apply it to the entire premise, okay? So I have now formal uh, mortal Socrates and not mortal Socrates. I will just unify these into the empty uh, clause. Therefore, this shows that the original uh, argument is valid. Let's do another example. For every pet, there is a person who cares for it. You see, we have done this columnization for this uh, statement already then people who care for pets are kind bonjuk is a pet therefore not all people are unkind right now again i'm going to add the negation of uh, this conclusion into my set of uh, premises and i'm going to also uh, put these in um, closed form the first one I can express as for all x, not pet x or cares owner x x. This here, as you remember, is the earlier example, which we already uh, derived the, the scholomized version. And the second premise, people who care for pets are kind. How can I express this? For all y, for all z, pet z and cares y z. So here Z is a pet and Y cares for Z. If these two are satisfied, this implies Y is kind. Okay, this is my second premise. And the third one, Bonjuk is a pet, simply a pet Bonjuk. And this is the negation of my uh, conclusion. It says not all people are unkind. If you negate it, you say just all people are unkind. So for all W, not kind W. 
okay now here uh, i had an ex existential quantif quantifier in this one but i already have uh, scolomized it and in the remainder i do not have an existential quantifier so that makes my life easier what i'm going to do is first eliminate this um, implication and then get rid of universal quantifiers so this gives me uh, this statement and at this point i'm ready to since all quantifiers are universal at this point i can just drop them so this is what i get and then at this point i'm ready to start the resolution procedure right so first of all not pet x and pet bonju um, as you see they are complements through the substitution x into bonju okay if you substitute x into bonju or rather bonju into x x is a variable bonju is uh, a value so you unify this uh, two literals to uh, uh, clauses using this uh, substitution and what you end up is this along with this substitution so what you get is cares owner bonju and bonju okay and then you resolve these two again you will use this substitution bonju into z so these two will disappear and what you'll have is again do not forget whatever you see z you have to put bonjuk okay so this becomes not cares y bonjuk or kind y okay and then these two because you have cares something something and not cares something something and already the bonjuk variables or values are um, corresponding here so what I need to unify these two is define the substitution owner bonjuk into y. So they will um, disappear. What will remain is kind y. But remember, y is replaced by, by owner bonjuk. So that will be kind owner bonjuk. Okay. And that will resolve with this one through this substitution owner bonjuk into w okay therefore what will remain is the empty clause showing that the original argument was valid 